Hey everybody and welcome to another Brie Book Reviews video. This is going to be a very exciting one of a two-part book haul. I probably should make it three parts, but I just can't put myself to do that. I'm just going to go through them really quickly because there's a lot, so I'm not going to go too far into detail because honestly I don't remember what half of these are about since I have kind of collected these in the last five months. So some of these I purchased five months ago and some of them I purchased yesterday. So. I don't know. The first book I have here is one I showed you guys in my last video, and that is the book I'm currently reading, Imaro by Charles Saunders. It has sort of like a Hercules-esque vibe to it. This is a fantasy set in an African-esque world, and it uses a lot of African traditions, and I want to say mythology, but I have no idea because I honestly don't know a whole lot of African mythology to really tell you it's based off of that. It is one of the books that I kind of scoured the internet for looking for different types of fantasy. I was kind of getting tired of your typical swords and sorcery type of story. It is about this character named Amaro. His mother bore him out of taboo. Basically she is part of this tribe that they only mate with each other. They don't lay with people outside of their tribe. It is very taboo to do so. She leaves the tribe and comes back bearing a child of a father that she refuses to name. The mother gets sent into exile while they keep the child, and he grows up being tormented by the rest of the tribe and seen as a weakling. I'm really, really enjoying the story so far. It's just so different from what I'm used to, and it's still really fantastical, and I'm liking where the story is going. It is his story into finding acceptance and finding out like who he is and why he is and finding his place in the world and I'm really enjoying it. Back in, at the end of last year I picked up Heartless by Marissa Mayer and I have also already read this book. I really really enjoyed it. Obviously it had a really crappy ending. Not crappy like it was a bad ending. It was just a sad ending but we all knew it was going to be sad because we know this, this is the story of the Queen of Hearts, so I knew it was going to be a bad ending. But a really good book, though. I love Marissa Mayer. She does awesome retellings, and this was no exception. This was awesome. I am obsessing over the brand new Fantastic Beasts movie, so of course I had to pick up the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them screenplay by J.K. Rowling, and this book is just so beautiful. Who does not want a copy of this right now? It is just gorgeous and I've pre-ordered the movie. Can't wait for it to come. I want to say it's this month that it's going to be released, like end of this month. So I will be re-watching that like crazy. Not that I haven't already watched this movie like a million times. The Chemist by Stephanie Mayer. This is her newest adult thriller book. Um, I haven't actually read it yet. It is about our main character who I think is an ex-CIA agent um, and she's on the run. Uh, something about used to torture people with chemicals is really all I know. I've heard mixed reviews. Obviously I also have mixed reviews about Stephanie Mayer because I really really enjoyed the host that she wrote, so I'm excited to get to The Chemist because I have high expectations after reading The Host that her adult books are way better. We shall see. I don't know. Crystal Storm by Morgan Rhodes. This is the fifth book in the Fallen Kingdom series and I honestly can't tell you what happened in the last book to even continue with this one. I kind of forgot what happened in Frozen Tide, so I might have to reread that before I get to this book. I haven't actually looked at any reviews or heard what people were saying about this book yet because I kind of wanted to keep um, myself away from those things because I would love to love this book and I don't really want to hear anything negative about it. I think in one of my previous hauls I had gotten the first book in this series so I went ahead and picked up the second even though I haven't picked up the first one at all but I know I'm gonna like it just whenever I get to it. I picked up book two of the Lightbringer series. This is The Blinding Knife by Brent Weeks and I hauled the first book last year at some point 
and have not picked it up yet, but I'm excited to get to it. And I'm going to continue to pick up these books as I see them. I got this from a used bookstore, so that's why I was like not caring whether I had picked up the series yet or not because it was really cheap anyways. These next few I know that I received um, for review. Some of them I received for review. A couple, I want to say at least one of these books I won through a Goodreads giveaway. So the first one I received for review actually, which I feel super bad about because I got this book sometime at the end of last year and I've not picked it up yet, and that is Infinity by Just Achardo? Achardo? I'm so sorry. I, I don't no. I got this for review from Entangled Teen and just have not picked it up yet. I honestly don't even know what this is about. I received this book at a time when, again, I was really only listening to audiobooks, so now that I'm back into reading the physical books, I do want to get around to picking up some of the books that I've promised to do reviews on, and this is one of them, so it will be happening very soon, and I'm excited. This next one I think I won from a Goodreads giveaway, and that is The Last of the Fire Drakes by Farrah Umerboy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But I think I entered the giveaway for this because the cover was really beautiful and it looked interesting. Looks like it's going to be some kind of YA fantasy. It is the first in the Avalonia Chronicles. I don't know if any more books in this series have come out since I received this because this, again, I got at some point at the end of last year. All I know is it is about this girl named Aurora, I think, and she is an orphan and one day she is dragged through a portal into a magical world and that's really all I know about it. But sounds intriguing and I love me some magical worlds. And then these last two go together because there's the first and the second book in the series. I don't know if it's the only two books in the series, if it's only a duology or not, but I did receive both of these for review and I have not gotten around to it. And I think it goes Forget Tomorrow by Pintip Dune. I'm so sorry. I can't pronounce names anymore. I'm such a good booktuber. And then I also received book two, which is Remember Yesterday. If I remember correctly, I think it's something to do with, um, like, predestination. I love stories with predestination type of things where they have to, like, go against fate and stuff like that. So I'm excited to get to this, and I think think it's only a duology, so I'm pretty sure this is the whole thing, so if I really like the first book, I will definitely get into the second book and hopefully be able to put out reviews for you guys. So yes, we have those, and the covers are gorgeous. Alcatraz versus The Evil Librarians by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first book in his middle grade series, and I've heard nothing but fantastic things about this. It has some really awesome illustrations in here and I'm overall just super excited to get to a Brandon Sanderson book because um, I have read a number of his books and I've been interested in this middle grade series for a long time now but ever since they got these like recovers done I want to say last year um, I've been kind of more interested now because I really like these covers so yes I'm excited to get to this Wind Witch by Susan Denard, which is the second book in the Witchlands series, the first one being Truth Witch. And I actually started Truth Witch uh, just yesterday, so I'm not terribly far into it. I've literally read maybe 10 pages. I've heard nothing but good things about this, and I really love these covers. So I'm drawn to buy them because they're beautiful. And the last and final book that I have in this part one of this book haul is Servants of the Underworld, book one of Obsidian and Blood by, I'm going to butcher this, Aliette de Baudard. So this is, again, another... Um, diverse fantasy I've been looking into. All I know about this book is it's about Aztecs and it is a fantasy book and that's really all I know. I'm just trying to check out different fantasy other than your typical sword and sorcery 
books, and I've heard good things about this one as well. So this is a trilogy, I believe. So I'm going to check out the first book, and if I like it, I will definitely continue on with books two and three. So that is all for part one of my two-part book haul. As always, leave comments down below, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!